Hello everyone, this is Joey and I'm back and this is Windows 8 Developer Preview. So uh, you're getting kind of a first look. I have installed this before but I have very limited time with it so uh, haven't spent a whole lot of time on it so you're kind of seeing it as I see it and this is the start it once you uh, hit the power button and uh, the device comes on this is a virtual machine and if my pointer ends up being some kind of black square that's an artifact of the uh, recording software I'm using and not a feature of uh, Windows 8 uh, or a bug but anyway uh, once you boot up this is the screen you get and to get to the login screen you just drag up like that then you will type in your password and hopefully I did that right and apparently I did and it will log me in and this will take a, a few seconds and here it comes uh, this actually boots up pretty fast it boots faster than Windows 7 does and this is an operating system running within Windows 7 so um, that's pretty cool uh, this is the developer release that uh, has all the the tools and such uh, with it it's got the so that you can you can build uh, apps for this uh, environment so if you're using a mouse uh, this is the start screen you come down here and click uh, this thing and, and and drag it back and forth and you can go down in the corner and uh, search share devices settings let's click on settings uh, you can set your volume brightness uh, language you can turn it on and off set notifications in your network settings uh, preferences not sure what that is show administrative tools um, yes <laughs> okay um, so how do I get out of this do I okay weird all right uh, I guess I just click off of it go back over here settings there was one more thing this what does start do it doesn't doesn't do anything okay um, devices this application not support printing playing or sending at this time okay fair enough share can't start can't share this apply an app and try again select an app and try again okay um, search app settings file oh that's pretty cool so there you go Uh, go back to the start menu there we go so that's how you get to start I guess you click down you move your mouse down here it's a little wonky on this virtual machine but on a real device where you can't go any lower than that bottom corner down there then uh, it won't be an issue uh, the first thing you can click on is the desktop and that's this is just your standard Windows desktop uh, and if you click the start menu you don't actually get a start menu you you go back to this screen so that's pretty cool um, I guess <laughs> uh, here is Windows Explorer and it's essentially the same uh, it looks pretty much the same except it's got the ribbon thing up here that's going to be a feature in all uh, future um, Windows products I suppose I, I don't really I wish uh, is there a way to turn this off I don't know I, uh, can I do that? yes okay cool so <laughs> yes not a big I'm not a big fan of the ribbon to be honest with you um, but uh, a few of their applications have it and it's kind of neat if you have a huge screen but this screen is kind of tiny but essentially um, this thing is is pretty much the same uh, can I go to computer local disk program files 
you know there there's some other there's some cool things oh you know there is one thing I'll show you and that's uh the journal document you can create a journal document and then if you open the journal document uh you get this application uh no you get this application called uh journal and windows journal and you can write like a with a pen in it so that's a uh, kind of neat a little bit difficult with a mouse but not impossible uh this would be a great feature for tablets probably but not so much uh just regular computing devices so i'm going to close that no i don't want to keep it and i'm going to close this and i can go back to the start menu uh there's the store and if you click on this button it doesn't do anything there's internet explorer as opposed to windows explorer and that that didn't do anything either so I think I might run into the problem I had earlier, which is none of these buttons do anything. <laughs> there we go. That one worked. So that just brings up Windows Explorer. You go back to Start Menu. Let's see if we can get Internet Explorer to work. No. You can move these tiles around, like I can move that one there. Let's go back to the desktop, see if we can get it to go. Come, it will come up from here. I know that. So here's Internet Explorer. It's essentially the same as Internet Explorer 9, although this is Internet Explorer 10. I'm sure that there are some differences, but I don't know what they are. Uh, they're mostly superficial, I would say, and they mostly depend on what uh, kind of device you are using, I'm sure. So since I'm using just a standard computer there's probably nothing special to see there's control panel and you can do a lot of things here you can customize your lock screen and user tile you can add new users you can screw with your settings notifications time zone a bunch of different things um, I'm not going to really mess with that right now. I'm going to go back to the start screen. And whatever happened to control panel, I don't know. If I click on it, it comes right back. It doesn't give me that splash screen. So it to me, it seems like it's still running, but I can't tell that it's still running. I don't know what it's, what it's doing there. <laughs> um, you got all these kind of weird things here alarms but I've tried clicking on these and and none of them seem to do anything so you can make these smaller like that one just got smaller um, and drag clicking and dragging on the rest of the screen that you know I, I wouldn't mind seeing that uh, instead of having to go down to the scroll bar uh, or maybe right clicking or middle clicking does that work no doing like a middle click and then uh, that might be a feature for later in later on I don't know yeah but none of these seem to be working no matter maybe you have to double click on them no no none of these seem to be working okay uh, task manager uh, there are no running applications so I guess that answers my question about what happened to control panel uh, it it it's gone. Let's see if it recognizes Internet Explorer. It does recognize Internet Explorer. Oh wow! Look at all this. So there's all kinds of neat information here, uh, showing you what's going on. So the the task manager is pretty cool. Uh, we'll go back to the start menu. And you also kind of start back at the beginning of the start menu every time. Like I clicked on this, I would like to kind of start with this maybe centered. I don't know. And this might be something uh, that's going to come up later. Here's a command prompt, uh, debugger, computer. So this just kind of shows uh, what's going on here. Documents, music no music 
no nothing on here. No sample videos. No pictures. So usually there's some some little sampling of something going on there, but um, not in this pre-release. There's not. I really do wish that these worked. I don't know if I'm somehow just not able to use them or if um, they just they just don't function and that they're just there for uh, for show. Yeah don't know visual studio express so uh this this comes to this comes with the pre-release here and this is for developers to develop apps although if none of them work i don't really know how that goes <laughs> um yeah overall i think it's kind of a a neat operating system it's a certainly a neat concept definitely be cool if you had a a tablet uh, something with a touch screen. Uh, it's very similar to in look and feel to the Windows Phone 7, which uh, I have played around with. I uh, actually came darn close to buying one, but I wanted an Android phone for other reasons. Uh, actually, I no longer even have a cell phone, so I'm completely without a cell phone at this point. But... Uh, if I were to get another cell phone, and especially a smartphone, I think I would definitely go with a Windows 7 phone. It's, uh, Of course, by the time I want one, it would probably be Windows 8, Windows 9, something. I don't know. but <laughs> um, Yeah, I'll, I'll probably definitely go with a Windows 7 phone unless something happens because it's really cool. And uh, I'm going to exit out of this because I don't know. I don't know how to use that. <laughs> Man, I wish these apps worked. That would be cool. Note space. Who knows what that is? Flashcards. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah, overall, a cool operating system. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't... There, there are some, you know, kind of weird things to it. Like, I would like a, like you have to go down here and click this, and then click settings to get to the power button. That doesn't make a lot of sense. And it seems like you've got it up, you got some stuff going on up here. Why not add, you know, power on and power off down here? So, um, uh, you can log off from here, and then once you're logged off, you can. Um, power off but that seems you know I mean obviously you have to wait for it to, to get done and uh, then you have to go over here and drag up again and then you go down here and, and shut down so yeah it's a cool it's a cool operating system uh, obviously it's a developer preview it's you know pre-release not ready for prime time for sure uh, and it's also running on a virtual machine, so <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, that's not that's not the best scenario. I'm gonna move that over so that I get some of that centered in my little black screen here. Um, but yeah, I like it. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see how what the final version looks like. I think it's got a lot of room to grow, and uh, it's definitely going to be interesting and something that I that I might even uh, enjoy using. So that's all I got to say about it. Uh, I definitely to you know uh, encourage you if you're interested in Windows 8 to uh, download it and try it out. Uh, you can download a program called VirtualBox uh, and install it on VirtualBox, which is essentially the same as VMware, only it's free. So there's a pro tip for you. <laughs> uh, use the free software. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for this time, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.